Welcome back to Cow's Hands Farming, everybody. Today, I'm showing you how to trap gophers and get rid of them quickly. That's all we're doing today. I'm going on a trapping marathon. I've got this property, which is my neighbor's, and then I've got our property to trap. There's hundreds of gophers here. So I'm just going on a marathon. I'm gonna trap tons of gophers and show you how I remove gophers really quickly. As you already saw, I put a trap in a mound on our property that was being actively um, dug out by a gopher, but now I'm on my neighbor's property and this thing is just, this property's loaded, okay? There's hundreds of them. Alrighty, so right now I'm looking for any mounds um, that, like the one on our property, are being digging out currently, or they were just um, dug out like an hour or so ago. We got a rain yesterday and that's making all the gophers dig out because the ground is nice and soft and wet. So I'm looking for any fresh sign, any really recently dug um, tunnels, and then I'm just going to place traps in there and get them. Alright, so, so this is what we're looking for, an open tunnel that's currently being um, dug. Usually you're not going to see open tunnels, they'll be digging at night or you just won't see them, but because we got that rain yesterday, like I said, they're all digging right now. So I, I'm actually going to place a mouse trap at the opening of this tunnel. I'm going to try it and, uh, excuse me little dog, I'm going to um, see if I can catch one with a mouse trap. That should be very interesting. All right, so to trap that gopher with a mouse trap, I'm just gonna need the mouse trap right here and an old cow patty um, like this, kind of hollow out inside. That's exactly what I need. And I'll show you how to, I use this um, in a bit. All right, so all I'm gonna do with this hole is I'm going to dig it out a little bit and I'm going to take out some of this top material right above. I'm gonna just take that out like this, right like that to open up the uh, place where the, the jaw of the mouse trap can come down, then I'm just gonna place that right in there, right about like that, where the gopher will come along, hit the trigger, and then that lid will close right on him. And I'm just gonna place this hollowed out cow patty right over the top of it so that he doesn't know that that mouse trap is there, it's nice and dark and he can't see it. So that should be interesting to see if that catches anything. That mouse trap is just an experimentation. I do not know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna go along and place these other actual gopher traps in some other recently dug out mounds and hopefully we'll catch a whole boatload of them by this evening. All right, so as you guys can see, this is where I made that mouse trap set. And then just up there at the top of that hill, right there is the gopher mound that I placed that trap in because he was digging it out. So actually, just because I'm so um, excited to see if he came back that quickly, I'm just gonna leave all the stuff here, all these extra gopher nader traps, um, which are what I'm using today, uh, to go check this other one in this mound because I really think he may have already come back and got himself trapped. And that would be awesome because we already have one gopher down and we could take that trap and go put it in another new mound. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna try to be quiet. We're coming right up here on the gopher mound. Let's see if there has, oh my gosh. We might have caught him. We might have caught him. No, no, no. He just filled it up right around it. Okay, I'm gonna dig this out and place this trap in a little bit deeper. We're definitely gonna get this gopher, guys. Alrighty, guys, there's the trap in there. Um, because this is a really big uh, tunnel and it probably has a really big gopher digging it, uh, I'm actually gonna take one of these homemade stakes I made and stick it right in there to keep that trap secure and not going anywhere when that gopher gets trapped. I'm also gonna place this big stone on the top here to make the tunnel system darker so that he doesn't suspect that there's a trap down there ready to catch him. All right, that's the perfect set, the classical gophernator set. We're gonna have that gopher within an hour. I tell you guys, it is that quick. I love trapping gophers because it's so easy and I can just catch so many of them and it's just awesome. All right, let's move on. Okay, so the reason I'm trapping these gophers is this pasture is infested with them and number one, they compete with the grass. Um, with the cattle, they eat the grass that the cattle are trying to eat. And number two, every time they make a new mound, it kind of, again, kills that grass for a little while. You know, it, it limits the surface area of um, eatable grass for the cattle. So I'm actually going through this pasture really slowly, just looking 
for um, recent tunnels. For you, I bet you just have a problem go for digging in your yard and you already know where he is and you can just go out and set a trap and it's that easy. But for me, I'm just I'm walking out here trying to find a recent one to set in. This is a really nice classic gopher mound, kind of crescent shaped with the hole where he dug out right there in the middle. So I'm going to dig this one out and place a couple nice big gopher near traps in there. This looks like a big gopher and hopefully we'll get him. I am also kind of bombing this area all along our fence line to try to prevent these gophers from going on our property because this pasture, like I said, is so infested with these guys that um, they just kind of cross over our fence line onto our property and that's why our property, I can never control them all. So I'm gonna put one here and uh, then I'll show you how the completed set looks like. Like I said guys, classic set. Um, I dug out this mound and found a perpendicular running gopher tunnel, set a trap in on this side and a set a trap in on that side. So I guarantee we'll have one in here um, by the end of the day as well. All right, I got a couple cow patties again to plug up this hole and finish the set off. All right guys, we're here at our last um, set for the morning that I'm going to put out. I've got like, some schoolwork to do, so this is gonna be the last one. Plus it's my last gopher trap that I have available. It looks like he just dug this out. You can actually see where he was pushing the dirt out, which is really cool. That's really defined where he was doing all that work. So anyway, we're gonna dig this out and put another trap in. Oh my goodness, this tunnel is absolutely massive. Look at how big that tunnel is. That gopher is huge. This is my hand next to it. Look, that gopher is giant. At, at least for down here in South Texas, gophers are generally pretty small, but that, that guy is a huge male. So I'm gonna put a trap in here and stake it down really well, and hopefully we will get this absolutely massive gopher. Alrighty guys, the very final thing that I'm gonna do is drive one of these yellow topped stakes down by each of my traps so that I know where they are because it would be easy to lose them in this big pasture. All right guys, it's a few hours later. It just um, rained, it smells really good outside. I'm walking here up on the first trap that we set and we're just gonna run the whole line. Hopefully we'll have a bunch of them and we'll reset them to catch even more. Here I am at the first trap uh, right here. I really, really think we'll have one in here, but Okay, um, I think we do because look how many ants there are. Look at all those ants. Yep, we definitely have a gopher. You can see the trap has been disturbed. They are already all over that gopher. So I'm gonna pull them out. Oh, ooh, that's ah, ants all over me, ants all over me. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay, pull that stake out. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh my gosh, there's so many, okay. I have to make this quick. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay, I dropped the camera because I was getting bitten by ants. I'm still getting bitten by ants. Ow, ow. Okay, but if you didn't see that, ow, I'm still getting bitten. Here he is, an absolute monstrosity of a gopher. Look how big this guy's head is. That is crazy. Look at this gopher. A really, really nice sized male. Ow, another gopher's on me, ow, I mean another ant. But look at this guy, look at him. Perfect catch right behind the front legs to kill him very humanely and quickly. Uh, yeah, really nice big male, it's been a while since I've caught one of these. Uh, those ants are already eating him up, but really great first gopher, and just like that, only a few hours. It is so quick and easy to trap these guys, you can do it as well. So um, I'll get this guy out of the trap and move on. Our next set on the line is this gopher, uh, I mean this mouse trap set. So we'll look here and oh my goodness, it went off. We almost caught him. Looks like we actually, he actually dug this out. We Wow, it went off, we just didn't catch him. So, you know, at least he came by, but we didn't catch this guy. This I've tried to trap with this mouse trap three or four times. I haven't gotten any, but my goal is to one day get a gopher with the mouse trap and revolutionize gopher trapping uh, by using mouse traps, but there is probably a reason that gopher traps are for gophers and my mouse traps are for mice, but let's move on. All right, so we are currently two for two on 
the gopher is actually coming and setting off the traps and we're one for one on a kill but um, obviously I wasn't really expecting to get him with that mouse trap but um, over here coming up on our next set hopefully we'll get one all right here we are at the uh, third the third set of the day so let's check this one out pull these cow patties out of here it would be crazy if we are had caught another one too um, I think we did nope nope maybe not yet <laughs> I got it I thought that was this cow patty was a gopher's rear end but anyway uh, hmm. sorry I'm gonna try to film this okay that trap is empty and that trap is gone it got taken away and that's why it is good to stake them down I didn't have a stake for that one and the ground was too hard to even stake anything down but we're gonna have to go digging for this guy oh, this ground is so hard I'm really thankful for this rain that's starting to loosen it up but Okay, I hit the trap. I hit the trap. There there he is. Right there. He took it down a little ways, but not but a few inches. And oh my gosh. Another giant. Another giant. This catch was a slightly farther back, so uh, didn't kill him quite as fast. That's why he was able to get down a little bit. But another huge, huge gopher. Oh my goodness, that's two giant gophers. I've never done that before. This thing is massive. That is crazy. Two for three on catches and two for two with the gophernator traps. Okay, we'll get this guy out of the trap and... Oh, look, he was biting onto it. Add him to the pile there. This one even looks bigger than the first one it is I think it is bigger than the first one that's crazy and what is exceptionally crazy about these gophers is that they are both females these are the biggest females I've ever caught this is the first one um, this was the second one that is crazy okay I'm out here at the last of the three sets the three gophernator trap sets that we did um, this morning it would be crazy if we went three for three with gophernators. So let's pull this thing out. Uh, just see what we find. Pull this one out. I stuck. Okay. It's kind of filled up. That might be a bad side. A bad sign. He may have come in from the other side of the tunnel. I was hoping he'd come in from this side, but um, we'll dig it out and see what we find. Okay, guys. Yeah, as I had expected, this was a miss, but. He did come to the trap, he just didn't um, come in the way I was hoping he would, but that's alright. If I had more traps, I would have gotten that guy as well. I'm already ecstatic with what we've gotten. That's two for three in literally five hours. In five hours you can get that problem gopher out of your yard. Guys, it's not that hard. I don't know why it is, but it seems like... 90% of the gophers that I trap are females. If anybody knows why that is, please let me know. I seriously don't know. It's like I only, I've only caught, I think, three or four males in my whole time trapping. So it's probably more like 95 to 98% of the gophers I trap are females. Because I've only caught three or four males and I've caught 70, 80, 100 females. I don't know how many, a ton. So I don't know. If you know, please let me uh, be educated by you and leave a comment. It is raining now, the perfect time to be out trapping gophers, as I've said many times, just so enjoyable. I just wanna pose a little uh, challenge. If we can get this video to 1,000 likes, and that is asking a lot because it would be crazy for this video to even get 1,000 views, so that means if you're watching, please hit that like button. If we can get to 1,000 views, I will buy with my own money, and I'm not making money off of YouTube right now, guys. I will buy with my own money, uh, like, 
cheap tra traps like an Amdro gopher trap or something like that and I will do a comparison against the uh, gophernator and see which one is really better. Is the gophernator really better? I mean it costs more. I hope it's better. I know it's really powerful and I've always liked using it but I don't know. If you want to see that, smash the like button. Thanks guys. And I decided to take shelter. It got pretty bad <laughs> so I'm taking shelter. I'll see you guys in a little bit. but we did get two gophers in literally five hours, which goes to show you, this is super easy. You guys can do it. If you wanna see when I really break down how to trap a gopher and how to set these traps, how to bed them properly, how to dig out the mound, how to find, find a very fresh tunnel system, check out this video right here and it will show you exactly how to do it. And yeah. We will see you guys on the next one.